On today's episode of Moto Cheese. Are you ready, kids? <laughs> the following movie is rated I. Ooh, look, the new tires are here. It's gonna drop this trailer. Probably about where it is right now. Nice. Now I need some fuel. She's definitely bone empty. Let's see how this thing works. This is only about half full, so it's gonna run that out before I fill up, I'm sure. I think this takes five gallons each side. I'm gonna leave it in the tank this time. That's what everybody that owns one said that they do. Oh yeah, it's running out already. Well, let me get the other tank. You got most of it. Got maybe a little over shot glass left in there. Man, that's a different color. It kind of looks like, doesn't it? It's like green. I don't remember the other one being like that. Must have got it two different places. Yeah, that pump's expensive, but boy, it's nice not having to lift that up. Getting close. Getting close. There it is. Wow, this one is like it's empty, empty. Wow. How do you even get it over here? <laughs> oh, I was operating off that tank and that was pretty empty. This is only about half full. Guess I'm gonna need a couple containers. Let's see how much we got in there. It's about half a tank. All my tanks are empty now, including that one. The only one I have fuel in is my old army tank. There's definitely no adapter for that, so it's just gonna have to sit in there. Yeah, I'll fill it up from there. Or maybe not. This won't fit in there. So this won't fit in these army tanks. That kind of stinks. Guess I'll have to do it the old fashioned way, siphon it. That works. Now I can finish filling. And she's full. Full to the brim. Well, I got the new thermostat and it's plastic. I'm wondering how this thing goes in there. It must have to seal to that. I would imagine with the O-ring and then there's a water passage there. Like it'd have to go like this and then have the spring go, go behind it like that. Oh, well it can't go that way. So yeah, it has to go the way I just showed. This O-ring is shot right there. Get a new O-ring. Found my O-ring. Clean this up a little bit. Put a little bit of grease on the O-ring. Put this back together. Definitely looks like this rubber has to go a certain way too for this thermostat. Let me clean that up too. I sprayed it down with the Marine Store. And then I'll pressure wash this once everything was back together. You know, I got everything on. Electrical cover. The, I don't know what you would call that. It's not an air filter, it's like an air horn. And I greased everything up pretty good. Thermostat's in, let's see if it runs any better. Let's see. Choke it. Water test is the only way. Got my switch panels back, my ignition and my tether cord covering all the throttle controls and that's back. I have a flat screen piece of garbage that I'll probably end up sticking in there. The wiring, what a mess. I forgot this thing was such a mess back here. So I gotta go through this rat's nest. There is a fuse panel that looks like nothing's connected to. <laughs> it's all on the power bus bar. 
got a vacuum and then uh, I guess I'll try to neaten up some wires I also found that gotta love mice oh, I forgot to put the plate on this is cracked but it's holding from there it's old man what do you want I'm not gonna sink a ton of money in this thing the windshield is on all right, Walmart's finally carrying these coolers. Two seats for my boat. There, all vacuumed up. Let's see how long it stays clean now. I went with the lower profile tires because that's what they usually use on the pontoon boats. Makes it easier for launching. This says maximum pressure 50 PSI. The tires are 1,100 pounds a piece rated. The boat's 800 with nothing on it. I figure with the motor, the furniture, all that stuff, it's probably what, 15, 1600? Getting the new tires installed, checking the bearings, grease them up. I think these tires got their mileage, or would you trust them going to Florida? <laughs> I wouldn't. Well, that's strange. The other side has lug nuts, this has lug bolts. Someone must have changed the hub. I prefer lug nuts. Lug bolts are hard to align when you're putting a tire on. Yep, got the air jack. 20 ton. Ordered off Amazon. Making a little latch for the door on that pontoon boat. I know it's not stainless steel. Might have to leave it at that. So that's for the door. The other side looks like it was a galvanized straight piece. So that should work good for me. This is how far I am right now. Coming together. There's some two coolers. I like the cooler idea because it has the wheels on it. Also has a handle. You can use it as a table to eat. Yeah, I like to eat. And it's got a hard opening lid. It also has a drain, which is a good feature if you're gonna load it up with ice and use it as an actual cooler. So one will probably end up being a cooler. And then the other one, what I do with the one in Florida is I end up putting boat supplies, towels, fishing supplies, all that type of stuff that you can wheel on and off the boat these are right now I ordered them online for the same price but they're 28 bucks a piece at Walmart can't beat that can you as long as this comes off without leaving a mark oh, anyway. so I'll probably end up using bungee cords or something to hold them against the wall you can move them anywhere you want you can put one there while we're moving put one there while we're moving as long as the wheels don't touch the ground and they roll away. The sides aren't so high on this, so I don't know if it's probably a great idea to sit there while we're moving. But let me move them back right there and right there. Facing forward, that'll work. Coming up with some new t-shirts. I'm going to put them on a wife beater. What do you think? Give me some good one-liner ideas. You guys come up with some pretty good stuff. Let me know. I'll see you guys in the next video. Let's try the local... Chipotle or what is it? Chipotle? Chipotle. 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 I got the chicken, black beans, and a whole bunch of other stuff. What'd you get? Chicken, pinto, rice, and hot salsa. And you, what'd you get? What is that? It's a burrito without the wrap. Um, a bowl. Mine's pretty good. I've always had good luck with. Chipotle. Eight. What's yours? Probably a six and a half, seven. And yours? Four. <laughs> hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on motoshees.com. Thanks for watching.